So over here you can see that I got particle physics applied onto the little circles right here and it is falling down randomly. So there's a collider that I already added in, a static collider. So in order to have more control over the collider, what you can do is you can add in dragger tags onto them and then work around with the dragger uh, behavior properties to control them in the way you want. So to do that, I'm going to go into shapes right here and I'm going to select out this particular shape where I want to add in a dragger. So I am selecting this and I'm going to click on the Dragable modifier. I'm going to do the same for this one. So I'm just going to select this and then click on Dragable right here. Once I do that and go to record, now what happens is that I can click and drag this item with, with my mouse, as you can see right here. And by default, it returns back onto the original position, just like that when uh, I actually let it go. You can see that I can drag it out, but as soon as I let it go, you can see that it returns back into place. That is because in the dragger behavior options, you can see that right now it's set to return to rest and the return duration is 0.2 seconds. You want it to return at a slower rate than what you can do is, let's say I'm going to keep one second. If I were to click and drag it, you can see that it takes about a second to actually come back. So I can go around here, leave it, and it takes around a second to come back. If you were to uh, leave it as zero, then it snaps back onto the place just like that, as you can see. So let me just keep point one, click and drag it, and you can see that it clicks, uh, quickly comes back. So one thing is I can return it to rest. The other thing that I can do is hold it in place. So if I hold it in place, I can click and drag it, and you can see that it just holds everything in place, that it is doesn't actually do anything. If I were to click and drag it, you can see that it holds it in the current place. And that is how you can add in the individual dragger tags for static objects and make use of hold in place and return uh, to rest option inside of Adobe Character Animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.